What's up everybody? T42 and I'm back. Level start bigger and better than ever. You know it. Here we go. I want to give a shout out to Vex for that new intro theme song. And I want to give a shout out to Alex for that awesome new intro video. What'd you guys think? Leave us comments. Yes. Comments below. That's what I want you to do. Alright guys, we got a lot of things coming up for you. This new show's got a lot of new crazy things that we're going to be throwing in at you. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's talk about something that's really big on everybody's mind right now. Let's talk about YouTube Red. And here is T42's perspective on the new YouTube Red. So, mm, YouTube Red. Am I for it? Am I against it? Well, I'm neither. I'm neither really for it nor am I against it. But, here's why. PewDiePie himself has even said that this was kind of an inevitable thing, right? You have the use of ad block, right? That everybody's been doing to get away from all of these crazy ads, but not just necessarily for YouTube, but on all these other websites as well. Ads are good, but also ads can be a little, you know, in your face and annoying, you know? But at the same time, we are responsible for the state of YouTube Red because of the fact that everybody's been using this ad block software to get around the ads. Yeah, I can kind of understand that ads are annoying, but on the flip side, you know, ads are necessary to keep things functional and free and easy access and stuff like that. But at the same time, you know, I think that the ad companies should do a better job or the software developers should do a better job at how they implement the ads. You know, I don't want big pop-up things on the side of my, my screen for the stuff I'm browsing. And I don't want things popping up over top of my video for those things that I'm watching. It's really kind of annoying to have to, you know, you're sitting there, you're watching this awesome trailer, and then boom, here's an ad in front of it. And it just kind of, you know, it detracts. It takes away from what it is. So I think that there just needs to be a better solution for the system, really. I don't know if YouTube Red's the answer, but, I mean, it's just kind of, it is what it is. So, anyway, those are my thoughts on that, guys. Let us know what you all think. Um, other things that are going on in the gaming world, gaming news, you got Halo 5 just came out. We want to know what you guys think of it. There's no split screen for this game, so, you know, split screen's been kind of a dying thing for the consoles, but at the same time, it is kind of nice. What do you guys think of the lack of split screen with Halo 5? Is it something that, you know, they should incorporate in later, or do you think that, you know, split screen is just, you know, golden eye days of the past? Let us know. Also, with big news that are going on, um, there is the new Battlefront that's coming out. I got to play the beta. What did you guys think of the beta? I personally wasn't really fond of the Star Wars Battlefront beta. I uh, I don't know, I'm a purist when it comes to Star Wars, so I felt the lack of the snow speeder was kind of a, um, a big turnoff for me. Um, I know that as far as a game goes that they had the full rights to do whatever they want, but at the same time, being a purist, being a gamer, playing the, the, the Battle of Hoth, and several other Star Wars games, snow speeders were always a thing, so I think that those need to come back. I saw a trailer of the launch trailer, and it looked like they might actually be doing just that. They might actually be bringing those snow speeders in. So, uh, keeping my fingers crossed, we'll see. I haven't technically pushed Star Wars Battlefront out the door just yet, but I'm waving. You know, I'm waving. There's a chance I might just be like, ah, oh, never mind, come on back in, you're okay. But, you know, we'll... We'll just have to wait and see on that one. The other uh, the other big news is we have Fallout 4 coming out soon, guys. I'm personally excited for Fallout 4 coming out. That's going to be a really big one for console as well as PC. So if you guys are ready for Fallout 4, which I'm sure you are, let us know in the comments. What are you most looking forward to from the new Fallout 4? And lastly, I'm also looking forward to StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. I've already pre-ordered the Collector's Edition because I'm a big... You know, Diablo fan, I've got the, you know, Blizzard fan, I've got the both expansions for that, i got expansions for StarCraft and all that stuff, um, not expansions, but uh, collector's editions, right? You know, I'm, I'm really excited, I'm really into that kind of stuff, but yeah, let us know, uh, are you guys looking forward to any of these games? What games did I not mention that you're looking forward to? Give us a shout out. Alright guys, so, we ask a, uh, every Monday we ask a, a question 
on the website, playlegit.net. And this week's question was, what is your biggest pet peeve in gaming? We have uh, some responses that will pop up here shortly. So uh, be sure to get in every Monday so that you can get your response on the show. Check these out. Let's begin. This is not a drill. All right, guys. Again, every Monday, check that out at playlegit.net coin up question of the week. So we're doing an indie spotlight this week, and our indie spotlight is going to be Infinity Battlescape. I had the opportunity to play this game with the developers and a friend of mine. We got to get into their game. It's their, it's not even pre-alpha. It's like their prototype like server that they have for this game, and it is phenomenal. We had a blast. The developers took us on a tour of the game, took us on some canyon trench runs, we did some formations, we did some battling with each other, we did some race through the canyons. It was a grand old time. Check out more on Infinity Battlescape.
warships in sector. This is Sky Crane Control. We're under attack by enemy warships. Clear the system. think of that go check out their kickstarter give them a bat guys or if you don't know if you're interested in this game yourself but knowing that someone it is let them know about infinity battlescape all right guys are you ready for this one screenshot explosion pa -da! All right, guys, your screenshots could appear on our show, and if you want to get your screenshots of your gameplay on the show, tweet us at PlayLegit, hashtag screenshot explosion. That's screenshot EX, really. It's screenshot X. Hashtag screenshot X to get your screenshots on our show. Guys, this has been a tremendous adventure for us, finally getting into our second season of, of running level start on playlegit.net. I've been in hiatus for a while trying to get some things together. I recently moved, family changes, all kinds of stuff, but here we are back better than ever. So stay tuned for more level start. Until then, see you on the internet. <laughs>